Greetings to all. I am career engineer Mujahid Sakai. Today, we are going to cover three ways to build a TikTok focused career. Before starting the video, you can support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. When I talk to college students and recent graduates for me, TikTok is seen as a place for empty content. Yes, the, the TikTok algorithm may make us think about it in some ways, but I can't say that this thought is 100% uh, correct. Especially if you approach events with a future-oriented, futuristic perspective, you can better see that TikTok has a huge potential. One of the biggest proofs of this is of this is TikTok's work on becoming a super app. To mention what a very short super app is, super app is that a digital brand goes beyond the areas in which it does its main business and takes place in very different areas. The purpose of the brands here is to provide end-to-end -end integration to their users. In fact, brands who are interested in trading now this strategy closely. If you are already selling a product and there is a buyer for this product, over time, you start to sell other products that complement it because there are potential buyers really. On TikTok, we should take the following course as university students or new graduates. There is so much potential in this world. Moreover, this potential is not only in one or two university departments. In fact, it's in every episode. So what are these potentials? First of all, agency solutions. Today, one of the things that almost all companies, institutions, organizations, and startups that do niche business, regardless of sector, need agencies that know their own stories. Of course, there are agencies that do creative work all over the world right now. I know this, but they are insufficient in niche sectors. This is very normal because classical social media agencies have a strategy that is closer to corporate firms. They operate in every sector and their aim is to set up a showcase. However, the cake is now much bigger and all companies don't only demand to be a showcase. Yes, being a showcase is still a valuable point and classic agencies can continue to do this. But there is also a need for boutique agencies that do specific work in the market, especially on TikTok. So what can you do about it as a university student or a recent graduate right now? The first thing you need to do is to open a TikTok account and dedicate this profile to posts entirely related to your section but not overly technical, boring, and not the kind of posts that no one cares about it. Sharing in a creative, new generation, and digital structure. When we say this at universities, we get two feedbacks. At this point, I would like to include them. Firstly, sir, I can't or don't not want to be an influencer. And the other one, I am currently an average university student or recent graduate. Why would take why would uh, they buy such a service from me? Let's start with the first question. You don't have to be an influencer to have such a business model. Those who are already influencers have very different income models. We make a more modest career plan. Our intention is to use this TikTok world as an opportunity that many people don't understand yet. Because we are a generation born into digital. 
we have more than that experience companies demand to recruit. So why would companies buy such a service from us? Because they will see how well we know this sector and how we can reach people. For this, we need to produce content without expecting anything in return for the first year. Content of different structures, only related to our arms industry. You can try anything in this process. Tools like CapCut and InShot, Speed Music or others. Everything you try will be a step towards success. Of course, there are two things we need to pay attention to during this year. Continuous improvement and market monitoring. We will follow almost any content posted on TikTok and related to our industry from any region of the world. If necessary, you will set up a group with your friends from the section. Everyone will post TikTok content related to industry there. So you will create a pool. Today, one of the biggest successes of Chinese manufacturers is related to these brands. They try to reach as many potential customers as there are on social media related to their sector. You will do this with content taking and production in the first stage. This is called producing while consuming. In this process, our priority is not more followers or likes. They will come in time anyway. We will constantly focus on integrating the industry with TikTok. This process will continue for one year and at the end of a year, you will feel that you have started to specialize. Which songs are more compatible with which video formats? What is the digital equivalent of di the dynamics in your industry? What should be the expectations of the institutions in your industry in TikTok? You will have extensive ideas and experiences on all this. After that, you will voluntarily try to provide TikTok consultancy to companies in your sector for one year. You can think of this process as a compulsory internship. We will say to the institutions, organizations, and companies in our sector, I don't expect you to make money for one year. I want to manage your page and provide mass communication. Why don't we get paid? Because we don't have a reference. We may hear a lot of rejection at first. If someone agrees to pay money, it's hard to deal with that, with that stress management this time. By working comfortably during this one year, you can better manage the expectations you will do with companies afterwards. It's hard to convince corporate companies of such a model because they probably work with agencies and follow formal procedures. But this, this is not usually the case for SMEs. With them, you can implement your internship-oriented TikTok management strategy. Of course, I would recommend that the companies you will find in this process be global. Try to find leads from the international market without being tied to just one country. Use you can learn you can uh, you can learn about different markets and see very different structures. Use at the end of two years you can give the impression of a global TikTok agency. Our intention is not to make a lot of money at once, but to engineer a sustainable and future-oriented career already to build you in the 2025 or 2026s. We will sacrifice two years for this and we will become a brand that every company in our sector tries to reach in order to cooperate. But beware, 
only in our industry. Two years may seem like a long time, but when you get a job at a company, think about when you can get promoted. You get a promotion every two years. So when you get a job at a company today, two years from now, they will just stop seeing you as an apprentice. On the other hand, you are not exactly an expert. I am here, I am talking about a business model that can find global response at the end of two years. But my purpose is not to sell you dreams. Maybe this job won't work and you won't be able to enlarge the pages of the companies. It could be. But the knowledge you will gain during this process will definitely bring you somewhere. Career management is a journey and TikTok is just one of the ways in this journey. Establishing an agency is only a small part of this path. The second one, talent management and acquisition. The second part is talent management and acquisition. The issue here is, now many companies leave their career portals and recruit directly. You can think of it, it is a headhunter, but not for such high-end roles. A headhunter is an independent consultant that a company can hire when hiring a senior executive. What we want to say is, any manager in the company can employ someone they follow on social media for an expert level position that the company needs. This is the case not only for specialists, but also for interns. For this, not only requirement is required. Sometimes managers can develop extra job descriptions to employ them while following high potential young people on social media. In other words, the company doesn't need such a position at that moment, but they recruit and determine the job description over time to have that talent. Here, it should be emphasized that the creation of such a system won't add career sites or job search sites. As I mentioned at the beginning, the peer is getting bigger and bigger. This growing cake needs new slices. Here, you can do it on TikTok. Here, I divide your role into two. The first option is to produce content related to your own section and let companies discover you. Secondly, you can discover people who produce content on this subject and get them to collaborate with brands. For the first, it's important to use your own name and surname. For the latter, you can have but your own name and your brand name. At this point, the choice is yours. But I don't think you should decide now. Try to be on the road. I think there are more opportunities in the second item. But if your human relations are not good, if you don't like marketing, this opportunity may be meaningless for you. Another problem with the second item is that some friends see it's, it as a simple human resources activity and sneer. However, you shouldn't label the new generation professions as much as such. Our goal here is to generate value. You can do this with written content production, technical expertise, or human resources solutions. The last one, marketing. The third and final item is marketing. The difference here is the first two items were directly, directly related to TikTok, and the third item was indirectly effective. In other words, 
while trying to earn money directly through TikTok in the first two. TikTok acts a bridge here. Our aim here, if we already have other solutions, we can use TikTok as a showcase for that. Our recommendation in this regard is if you are already training, consulting, writing content, you can think of TikTok as a video promotional version of them. Reels, shorts, and TikTok can be a very good funnel in this regard. For example, a good solution would be a compile word news about your department and pass it on to people in your own country. TikTok is a very valuable channel for this. Because thanks to TikTok, you can reach millions of people in a day with the content you make. The point where reels and shorts are missing is, I think they can't make you much make such a big, big impact. More importantly, the people you reach are about you. While algorithms work a little more randomly in other channels, users feed the algorithm in TikTok. Therefore, people who are interested in these topics will also see your posts about your section. Let's talk about a business model idea here. Currently, email marketing provides a good side hustle opportunity in many countries especially in USA. Normally, people with other professions compile and collect the information they have learned with the logic of a creator, and they get a subscription fee in return. One of the best ways to acquire this audience is through social media. Among these social media platforms, TikTok is the most prominent application with its momentum. On the other hand, we talked about TikTok's desire to become a super app. In the long run, this could be an improvement that increases your side hustle possibilities. So, how can TikTok be used at this point? For example, you have an email newsletter every week where you tell about the developments in your department and share your views. In TikTok, you present a small part, part of them to people with a visual-based narrative. Under the video and in the bio, you can highlight the link of the email newsletter. When you do this for one year, I think you can reach a considerable audience, as long as you always take care to make the next content of higher quality. But I would like to draw attention to one point in this regard. I am someone who doesn't believe in clear goals in life. So the journey of life is not like speed problems. You can't say, say something like, if I go to the fast, I can't get from distance A to distance B in this much time. At first you go at a slow speed on the way, that speed may increase by itself. Therefore, when starting to make content on TikTok, don't set clear numerical target targets for the number of subscribers, the money you will earn, or other elements. Instead, try to build a system in your life. I say this especially for university students and or new graduates. You don't have big responsibilities in your life right now. I hope not. So you don't have to rush to make money. It's more important to take decisions calmly and proceed step by step. Maybe none of these things I mentioned about TikTok will be a good opportunity for you. It would be, but when you try them, you will find career opportunities that are just as important and possibly even more important than tools on TikTok. When that moment comes, you will think 
you are wasting your time producing content on TikTok, but it's not. Let me give you spoilers for a few years from now. In fact, the content you produced about your section on TikTok was one of the most powerful steps that brought you to your current state. There is something like this, friends. I believe that if you fight hard for something, life gives you at least one opportunity. Any college club invites you to give a speech, any investors follows and interacts your, with your content or whatever. Our intention is when that aha moment comes, be ready. For example, if that opportunity comes to you tomorrow, you will probably miss it because you weren't prepared at all. But if you produce content on TikTok for one year, you will be ready. You will now have to evaluate when that opportunity comes. This is what I'm going to say in general. You can send us all your opinions, thoughts, and comments about the video as a comment. If you liked the video, if this video added something to you, you can support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next videos. Bye.